Today I want to show you guys something that was just a dream in Creative 1.0 and something that 1.0 creators can only dream of. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So you might just think, what can possibly be that cool that we couldn't do in Creative 1.0? Well, there's a lot of things, but there's one specific thing which just makes creating gameplay so much easier. For example, I have a little setup over here. This is a verse script, which is basically writing code inside UFN. And if I press the little button here, you can see that I turn invisible. No, I did not turn into first person and I can show you this right here, right? This is the, the helipad, the infamous one person glitch. And if I go in here, you can see my camera kind of glitches out and um, I, you know, I go into first person and I'm normal here. But if I press on this button over here, I actually turn invisible. I'm still in third person and you can see that um, I can shoot normally. This is just a normal gun. And yes, sometimes it still glitches out the guns and they turn invisible. Um, but I mean, that doesn't matter if you all invisible. This is not like a first person glitch or a f invisible glitch where only you can be invisible for yourself. You can also see that we can still get damage in here. So if we turn invisible, we can still get attacked by NPCs. But the main thing why this is so cool because you can now finally bind actually actions uh, to your character such as the high Hiding the character or like not showing the character. You can even use different things like crouching and jumping. We'll come to that in a second. First things first, credit where credit is due. I obviously didn't just grab that out of the air and just start learning verse from nowhere. I obviously learned this from YouTube and I will leave you guys this YouTube channel pi equal three in the comments down below where I basically learned all of this stuff and I will show you guys a few cool things that you can do with this one. But if you want more in-depth tutorials on this one, I highly recommend checking them out. First things first, we're gonna open up verse and then we get greedy with the two codes that I have for you guys. This one is the one for the invincible and you can see this is really not a lot and as you can see here that we only basically need a button you can replace this with basically anything that you want to have like if you want to do it on a trigger if you want to get invisible on I don't know a mutator zone you can basically replace it if you obviously know verse uh, obviously more in-depth tutorial as already told on uh, the pi equals three channel but in my example I made this with the button so for example if you don't know what a device can do in verse or what something can do in verse you can just control click on it so for example if we don't know what things we can use inside verse with the button um, we can just click on it and then you can see the button device can interact with an event you can enable disable so basically the normal things that we can do in normal creative 1.0 but now comes the part that is not doable in creative 1.0 and that is a d fortnite character so if we click on the fortnite character we can see a bunch of things that we can do with the fortnite character that we couldn't do ever in creative 1.0 but as you can see right here this is obviously under characters and the fortnite character is here and and we can have eliminate event so if someone gets eliminated it also says that here um, but the more important part is jumping crouching sprinting so these are the main things that you can obviously do with a fortnite character so you can now also freeze characters in fortnite this is this one right here um, we can release them from being frozen and then as already showed we can have them show or hide so make them invisible or not all right, so as I already said, if you copy this code over here, um, this is for making a player invisible on a button click. So this will only work if you have a button in your map, um, but nothing else. So this is basically the only thing that you really need. You need a button in your map, um, and then the character can just press it and turns invisible. The important part here is that this is not an infinite invisibility. So this is made that it's only lasting 10 seconds. So if you want to change this for yourself, um, you have to change this number to like, let's say 20, and then you will be 20 seconds invisible instead of just 10. All right, the other thing which I already mentioned is crouching and then getting invisible. So to visualize, I have like a perception trigger turning on at the same time I crouch. So you can see right here, if I crouch, the uh, thing turns on and kind of shows that I have a shield now. You can see I cannot get damaged, uh, but as soon as I stand up, the trigger turns off and I can get damaged. I crouch and I cannot get damaged. I stand up and I get damaged. If we, and if we look at the code right here, you can still see it is still very small and not crazy advanced. But what this will basically do is, first of all, we have the player spawn here and we have a trigger device. So the trigger device is only for the visual effects, so that is not important at all. So you don't really need to touch that whatsoever, or you can just basically delete these two things here. Uh, same with the disabling the trigger and obviously um, enabling it. But the main part is that we uh, make sure that we have a player uh, that we can register. If the player character is crouching, we're going to set it to false and um, else we're going to set it to true, which means that the character can be damaged. Um, and that is basically all you have to do here. 
and of course yet again this is not a full tutorial i just want to show you the possibilities and like let you guys think a little bit what you can do with this uh, full tutorials are um, as already said a link in the description but that is just the tip of the iceberg you can basically also just combine them you can do so many things obviously it takes a little bit of time to learn verse and to get used to how to write code same for me i'm still a beginner i still learn a lot of stuff uh, each day but if you really want to improve your gameplay i think verse can definitely do wonders when it comes down to that with things that were never possible in 1.0